Thank you, Peter. I appreciate the opportunity to tell you a little bit about Osprey Medical and our focus on reducing contrast-induced acute kidney injury. Our technology is focused on patients undergoing normal cardiac procedures, heart procedures, where they're looking at the arteries on the outside of the heart to find out if there's a blockage that may need a stent. They use contrast dye uh, to inject in those arteries to see those blockages. And it's that contrast dye that can cause a problem called contrast-induced acute kidney injury. And that's what Osprey is uh, focused on preventing that problem associated with the contrast dye. We have a very easy to use technology that plugs in seamlessly into a standard procedure, doesn't add any time to that procedure, and reduces the amount of dye by 40%. So it's a huge reduction in the amount of the dye that they have to use to do the procedure, which leads to lower acute kidney injury rates, which is very good for patients. In terms of how big this market is, there's about 7 million of these angiograms done every year in the heart and in the legs. And in those populations, those 7 million patients, uh, the patients that we focus on is those that have chronic kidney disease. And you can see that in the upper left of this slide, CKD. There's 1.3 million of those patients every year. In addition to those patients, obviously with bad kidneys, they're at very high risk. Diabetics, peripherals, and STEMIs, or uh, heart attack patients, are also at very high risk of having an acute kidney injury event. So there's about 3.2 million patients every year uh, that are at risk of having acute kidney injury, and those are the ones that we want to protect. Our devices are $350 each disposable uh, product, one per patient. And so it, it leads to about a $1.1 billion market opportunity for our therapies. Why would we focus on this market? Why is contrast-induced acute kidney injury such a bad outcome? This slide does a great job of describing the, the two big bad attributes of contrast-induced acute kidney injury. First, for the patient. On the left-hand side, you can see patient outcomes. Uh, for patients that develop acute kidney injury following the injection of that dye is very poor. Uh, in fact, it's a 61% higher chance of in-hospital mortality for those patients that develop acute kidney injury as opposed to those that didn't. So obviously that's very bad for patients. And then on the right-hand side of this slide, you'll see the economics involved for the hospital. For patients that develop acute kidney injury, they have additional unplanned additional unplanned length of stay that is very costly. It costs the US healthcare system alone about $900 million a year. And it's four additional days in the hospital. And patients, once they are released, they have a much higher chance uh, of being readmitted, a 37% increased risk of readmission. So it's, it, it's very bad outcomes for the patients and it's very expensive for the hospital system. Given how big it is for the patients and the hospital systems, what do the doctors say about this? Well, there is guidelines, and the guidelines call out uh, uh, that you make sure that you know which patients uh, have bad kidneys, so screen for risk, hydrate the patients with bad kidney function, and lower the dose of contrast or dye that is used in that patient population. And that's where Osprey comes in. We're right in alignment with those guidelines we reduce the dose of that dye, and that's been proven to reduce acute kidney injury, which is obviously what the hospital wants to do and what the patient wants. So that reduction of dye leads to reduced kidney damage. Uh, we also monitor throughout the procedure exactly how much dye has gone to the patient. You can see that in the iPad looking device on the left-hand side. That we put on loan to the hospital. What we sell is the disposable or consumable pieces for $350 each patient. And we allow uh, real-time contrast monitoring throughout the procedure. And the dye reduction that we offer doesn't impede the image quality. So it's a 40% less dye that's been proven to lower AKI rates, and it doesn't affect the image quality of what the doctor wants to see is those arteries themselves, and they can still see those just fine, no degradation in image quality. In terms of how we commercialize these, we started commercializ commercialization in very late 2015, at the very end of 15. And if you look at the time frame of 2015 through 2019, we had an 89% compounded annual growth rate. That was all coming primarily from the United States. 
Uh, then COVID happened and we were certainly impacted by the procedure drop in COVID. It's nice to see it start to recover in 2021, and we certainly expect it to come back to normal in 2022. Uh, our commercialization is focused around introducing our therapy to new accounts, driving penetration once we're in those accounts, and then publishing clinical literature. In fact, part of our publishing plan is around our guarantee. We have a guarantee to the hospital that our product will reduce their acute kidney injury rate. So that's a clinical outcome, and we're guaranteeing that our use of our product will give them a clinical uh, benefit. And the way that this works this is an economic example. You can see on the top box, the top blue box there, shows the cost of acute kidney injury to the hospital. As you may remember earlier, I said, uh, for patients that develop acute kidney injury, the length of stay is long, much longer than normal. And so this hospital, this is an actual hospital example where they've got a 15% rate of acute kidney injury in the hospital. So they're spending about $11.4 million a year uh, through additional length, unplanned length of stay that's not reimbursed. If they use our product, that our product is going to cost them about $560,000 a year. And our product has been proven to reduce acute kidney injury uh, dramatically. We reduce it by quite a bit by reducing contrast. In fact, because of this guarantee, hospitals do look at their AKI rates and they publish. So here's eight studies that show you an example of how much AKI reduction hospitals are getting. These are all hospital publications. On the left-hand side, these are population health studies. On the right-hand side, they're control group studies. Gosh, when you combine the, the two of them together, it's eight different studies. Over 4,000 patients are right at 4,000 patients, and the average reduction in acute kidney injury was over 50%. So what you see in these graphs is the gray graph bar represents what that hospital's AKI rate was prior to using the divert system. The blue, light blue bar is what it was after they started using divert. And as you can see, it was a, oh, a very large reduction, averaged over 50% in all eight of these studies that are over 4,000 patients. Um, we also an announced recently that uh, a group in Italy is looking at a randomized controlled trial in a very sick group of patients, patients with heart attacks. They call them acute coronary syndrome, and they're looking at the impact of the divert on lowering acute kidney re injury rates in that very sick population. Uh, they expect to have the results of this clinical trial next year, and we look forward to that being published sometime next year. In terms of our commercialization strategy, we cover about 80% of the United States. You can see it here on this map. The gray areas is our direct sales force, uh, covers the southern part of the U.S., and then the light blue is our independent distributor network. We actually leverage the best of both of those sales forces. The directs uh, go in and help the independent sales agents convert new accounts, and then the independents manage those over the long term. In Europe, we were very pleased during COVID year, last year, to sign a very large distribution agreement with GE Healthcare, a large multinational a medical device company. In fact, the world's largest manufacturer of the dye that we lower the amount that's used in each case. They are our exclusive distributor in all the blue areas that you see represented on the map here, everything uh, in Europe as well as Canada. And it's been growing nicely. Uh, in fact, in Q3, just last quarter, uh, Europe GE represent 38% of our overall revenue. So it's growing very nicely and we're very pleased with the relationship we have with GE. We're also looking to expand our portfolio. We're looking to apply our dye savings technologies into other areas. And this is an area of example right here. We, uh, when they're using dye in the cardiac cath lab, there's two ways to inject it. They can use a handheld syringe or they can use a machine to inject it. And our therapy save dye with either way they inject. Uh, what we have an opportunity for, though, is to take our dye savings technology and integrate it into a new machine uh, that we would come out with that would have our dye savings technologies locked into it. So that is an opportunity that we certainly are looking for, looking at, and it's one GE has an interest in also as our European distribution partner. So more news will come next year as we continue to look at ways to expand our portfolio, but this is an example of a very key area of expansion for Osprey. 
I'd like to thank everybody very much for your attention and for uh, learning a bit more about Osprey Medical.